Well, this cold weather could be doing a number on your heating bill. Chances are the low temperatures could make that number inch much higher. But we are working for you tonight to find ways to stay warm without breaking the bank. And WJCL's Renee LaSalle is here with more on how to keep the bills affordable and stay warm. As if the cold chill wasn't enough, you got to pay a higher bill too. I know, I know. <laughs> It is. It's true. No one wants to pay a high electric bill anytime, but in the winter, it turns out there are actually ways to keep your bill lower, and you can do it. It's nice. A little cold snap killed the bugs. Nick Arredondo is right at home in this chilly weather. It's good. Nice change of pace. The Washington State native says this cold snap is a welcome surprise, but as for keeping his late 1800s era home heated, it's obviously uh, a little bit more expensive this week to keep it cool. Uh, warm. So we went in search of ways to keep those heating bills down. Some of these ideas take a little planning, like wrapping water pipes and insulating water heaters to keep the heat from escaping. Caulking doors and windows will also keep that precious heat in the house. You should also have your heating systems checked to make sure they work properly. Other heating advice is rather common sense. Set the thermostat as low as comfortable. Georgia Power suggests 68 degrees and turn it lower but not off when leaving for a few days. Also, check your hot water heater to make sure it's not set too high. But some of the simplest ways to lower your cold weather power bill are probably part of your everyday behavior. Open your blinds during the day to let the sunshine in, but close those blinds at night to keep the heat from escaping. Also, keep your heat registers clear of clothing and furniture. And if you have a drafty room or enclosed patio, keep the door closed to seal it off from the rest of the house. Back in downtown, Joe Witt says he's concerned to see his heating bill. Because typically we don't have to run the heat so often here in Savannah, but these past few days has definitely been on high. Arredondo says the heat bill is nothing compared to the cooling. I mean, it's actually worse in the summer than it is in the winter. So. Now, if this advice isn't enough, never fear. Georgia Power will work with customers on an individual basis. You just have to contact them before payment becomes a problem. Georgia Natural Gas has several payment options on their website. Now, Jennifer, we will have contact information for both of these companies in this story at WJCL.com. Perfect. Great information. Appreciate it. Thanks, Renee.